Hello everyone, welcome to Patshala. Now in this video, we will see how to use pre-trained VGG16 model for the classification of cat and dog task by using feature extraction and fine tuning methods. Let's concentrate on feature extraction. First of all, import the libraries and classes we need for the pre-trained models. So we have imported TensorFlow. We have imported la layers from tensorflow.keras. Then we have imported model from tensorflow.keras. Then we have imported sequential from tensorflow.keras.model and finally we have imported vgg16 class from tensorflow.keras.application.vgg16 module then we have mounted our google drive so in uh, google drive we have uploaded images for cat and dog so it is necessary to mount that drive to google colab project for that we have used drive module from google.colab and we have used mount method for mounting the drive to google colab project after that we have imported os to change the directory basically we want to use cat and dog images which are present in my drive slash my drive so we have used os.chdir for changing the directory after that we have used image generator class so inside this image generator we have specified how we want to pre-process the images we have rescaled those images which brought the pixel values from 0 to 1 instead of 0 to 255 then we have provided rotation angle as 40 width shift range equal to 0.2 height shift range is equal to 0.2 zoom range equal to 0.2 and we have also applied horizontal flip so by using image data generator class we have called flow from directory method so this particular method includes different parameters we have passed where the training images are present after that we have specified what is target size target size is 128 comma 128 batch size is equal to 128 and uh, since it is a binary class classification problem we have used class mode is equal to binary this is for training now coming to the validation part we have used again image generator class but now this time we have only applied rescaling on it which brought the pixel values from 0 to 255 to 0 to 1 range then same as that of the training generator we have also created validation generator by calling flow from directory function with validation augmentation object of image data generator then we have specified directory is equal to testing target size is equal to 128 comma 128 batch size is equal to 128 and class mode is equal to binary so we have found 2000 images for validation and approximately 8000 images for training okay now we have to use pre-trained model so we are going to use vgg16 class with some of the parameters to create corn base so parameters are input shape is equal to 128 comma 128 comma 3 we are not going to include top means the actual classifier we are just going to introduce convolutional base over here we are skipping the top part so parameter is include underscore top is equal to false weights is equal to image net means when vgg16 was trained on imagenet after completion of training whatever the weights are there we want to use those weights so in third parameter we have said weights is equal to imagenet if we are printing the corn base summary we can get model name is vgg16 and list of the layers last layer is block 5 pool where we have used 
max pooling 2d and output is none comma 4 comma 4 comma 512 so 4 by 4 feature maps are there 512 channels are there none indicates the batch size okay so these are the huge number of parameters that neural network has to learn non-trainable parameters are zero while the trainable parameters are th this huge number now most important part in feature extraction method we are going to freeze the convolution base we are not going to update the weights while training the model for cat and dog so we have two these layers for this we have used this code for layers in conbase.layers conbase is actually the model and inside that model we have only included convolution base so its value for trainable property should be set to false and that we have done with the help of layer dot trainable equal to false now we have to update the top part but before that we have to insert the con base in our model so let's create our model model equal to sequential so with this line i'm specifying that my model is a sequential where data will be flowing from first layer to second layer second layer to third layer sequentially up to the last layer now we have added con base with the help of add method so model dot add con base means this huge model will be added in our new model okay now after that we have received this shape we have to get vector from this so that can be achieved by using flatten so we have added flatten layer after that and after getting that vector we have added two dense layer first dense layer includes two five six neurons with activation function relu while the last layer includes only one neuron with activation function sigmoid if we print the summary of the model then summary will look something like this vgg16 that is pretend model where we have included only the convolution base with this output shape after that we have created a flatten layer okay which had just converted these matrices into vector then we have added dense two layer dense three layer with two five six and one neuron so if we observe this now non-trainable parameters are one four seven one four six eight eight because we have set trainable is equal to false for the convolution base we are not going to update this with trainable parameters are these and these trainable parameters we have received from the first and second dense layer then we have to compile our model with the help of compile method model dot compile inside that we have used rms prop as optimizer loss function as a binary cross entropy and matrix is equal to accuracy then then we have to perform training with the help of fit method so model dot fit inside that we have to use train generator steps per epoch is equal to 8 epochs is equal to 5 verbose is equal to 1 and validation data is validation generator so we have used train generator train generator is trying to introduce large amount of uh, images so in order to restrict that at some point we have used steps per epoch equal to 8 now after training we are getting accuracy equal to 71 percent and validation accuracy approximately 65 percent okay so this is quite large compared to the model that we have created from scratch so we have used again rms prop binary cross entropy matrix is equal to accuracy with the same train generator we have uh, trained the model but the accuracy we have received over here is approximately 55 percent and validation accuracy is 52 percent so in terms of accuracy pre-trained models are better than 
the models created from scratch then we have plotted a graph for accuracy and validation accuracy after that we have plotted graph for loss and the validation loss so this is all about feature extraction method used for using pretend vgg16 model now let's concentrate on fine tuning method for using vgg16 model for classifying cat and dog images in fine tuning method we have to unfreeze some of the higher layers of convolution base and then we will add our actual classifier as a top for it so let's check out how to use fine tuning method so most of the code is same as that of the feature extraction where we have imported the statement loaded uh, the drive to google colab project then we have changed the directory then we have used image generator for training and validation after that we have loaded vgg16 model with include top is equal to false and weights is equal to image net ultimately we want to work with 1 to 8 comma 1 to 8 comma 3 as an input shape so we have included that over here if we are printing summary of convolution base then we are getting something like this the last block is block 5 where we have con1 con2 con3 and pulling layers okay so in fine tuning we are going to unfreeze the con5 block and we are going to freeze rest of the blocks so here what is intention intention is to learn the complex features for cat and dog and we are not interested in the complex feature learned by vgg16 model on generalized data set so we are going to learn the complex feature for cat and dog so let's create our model by using sequential class after that we have specified con base after that we have added flatten layer and uh, dense layer with 256 neurons with activation function as relu and last layer is with only one neuron and activation function is sigmoid then we have printed the summary same as that of the feature extraction okay now important part how to set trainable is equal to true for block 5 so here we have used con underscore base layers which will provide a list of the layers and if the layer name is block 5 underscore con 1 then we are setting the value for set trainable is equal to true if set trainable is equal to true we have to train that layer and for rest of the layers we have to set trainable property to false so this particular code will provide us con5 as an unfreeze block while rest of layers will be freezed one now we have to use again rms prop as a optimizer algorithm with binary cross entropy as a loss function and matrix as a accuracy then we have trained our model and here we are getting accuracy as 57 percent approximately and validation accuracy is 52 percent then we have plotted the graph for accuracy validation accuracy and loss and validation loss so in this case if we compare the result then we are getting good result in feature extraction method in fine tuning method we are getting results better than the model developed from scratch but the difference is not very large okay so this is how we can use fine tuning method for using pre-trained model thank you for watching the video